I finished my college here. I was working for Taj Group of Hotels Bangalore. I saw a very old man. He was eating his own human waste for hunger. I thought, what is the purpose of my life? What am I going to do? In a star hotel, I feed all my guests. But where in my hometown, there are people who are living even without food. And I quit my job and I started feeding all these people from 2002. Tomato rice and sabji. We fed the homeless, mentally destitute, and the old people who are being left uncared for the society. People are suffering for food. They don't have food to eat. If you don't give them food to eat, they will die out of human hunger. I cut their hair, I give them a shave. I give them back for them to feel psychologically that they are also human beings. There are people to care for them. They, are, they have a hand to hold, hope to live. Food is one part, love is another part. So the food will give them physical nutrition. The love and affection which you show will give them mental nutrition. community and an orthodox family, there are a lot of objections. Brahmins are not supposed to touch these people, clean these people, hug these people, feed these people. Everybody has got 5.5 liters of blood. I am just a human being. For me, everybody are same. There are, there are thousands and thousands and lakhs and lakhs of people suffering. What is the ultimate purpose of life is to give. Start giving. See the joy of giving. Christian did not come, he got frightened. And my mom and dad were uh, 
really surprised to know what I was exactly doing. So they said, uh, they went to their friends and relatives to find out what exactly was going on into me. The suggestion which was being given to them is, take me to a psychiatrist, put me under medication for some time, or someone in the family would have done black magic. So a chotani kare kuti poi or puja pordunga is sari I told my mom, I don't want to do anything which you people don't like. But before that, I want you to exactly see what I am doing. So taking cognizance of whatever I was telling, my parents came onto the feeding program what I was doing. And the old people there on the roads touched the foot of my mom and said, now we are able to have three meal a days only because of your son. After coming back home, my mom said, Krishna, you feed all these people, I will feed you till I am alive. So that gave me a lot of uh, courage and satisfaction. In 2003, we registered a trust called Akshaya Helping in Health Trust in Madurai. And I had my own uh, central kitchen with the little amount of savings I had and slowly started feeding all these people. In 2004-05, I witnessed a lot of mentally ill uh, old people or mentally ill people on the road having long, long hairs on the roads. So what happened? Uh, I approached a local barber to give them a haircut. Some people said, I don't want to come and uh, give a haircut to these people because they are stinky. Some said, I will lose my customers if I am going to do that haircut on the roads. But there were kind-hearted people, barbers, who said they will really come and do some service for them. But mentally ill people seeing the barbers as strangers, they were running on the east sides and barber were running on the west side. It was a running and catching game going on the road. So to solve that situation, I went to a barber shop, took, took up six months of haircutting training. I learned almost 20 to 30 varieties of haircut in this six, seven years of journey. Almost 3,000 haircuts I have done to uh, people on the roads. Again in 2005-06, I identified a lot of old people, my son on there, very old people. They die on the road and dogs come and bite the old or dead bodies. So I almost knocked all the doors uh, of XYZ bodies but nothing, nothing worked out. So uh, I took, up, took this up a task and in 2000, from 2005 I started cremating the destitute bodies and so far 458 dead bodies I have cremated in all these days. In my association and community, they said, you are not supposed to do it. I said, why? You are not supposed to do it. Your grandparents have contributed immensely for the Brahmin community. I said, why? The sacred thread, the punal which you are wearing, you are not supposed to do it. And being the first son in the family, if you are going to do rituals like this, it is going to be harm for your father. So I removed my sacred thread in 2005 and put it in the fire and said, I am not Brahmin. I am only a human being. And for, and for all you know, my father is very healthy after that. <laughs> if somebody is going to say, human beings are not supposed to do it, I am ready to declare I am an animal. I want to help these people. Again in 2007-08, I witnessed a lot of mentally ill women are being taken for right by antisocial elements of the society. They give birth to kids on the road. So to, to, I thought, what is going to be the situation for this problem again? So with a little piece of land which my grandfather gave, I sold that and with all the small, small jewelries which I had, I sold that in the help of few corporate companies. We purchased and registered almost about 3.2 acres of land in outskirts of the city and we had some few corporate donors for that also. And right now we are building a rehabilitation center in that 3.2 acres of campus. Uh, almost about 24,000 square feet campus has been constructed. Every, everything is by public donations and uh, like-minded people contribute. We have never approached uh, any government agencies for grants or proposals. I think that is a very big task to do in this world. So everything is being contributed by the society and almost about 60% of the project is done. Once when the project is completely done, I have a confidence that Madurai district will be free of mentally ill people and old people and I have the confidence that they can be happy to Akshaya was being recognized by CNN USA. It was a very defining movement for Akshaya. Out of 100 countries, 10,000 nominations, Akshaya was being selected as top 24 and then top 10 and now we are in top 2 of the world. November, second, now in the month of November 2010, I went to US to get the Hollywood Award. I am very, hum I'm very happy to uh, get the Hollywood Award. 
I am not carried away by the limelight or Hollywood award or appreciation. If you see me after 10 years, maybe I would have reduced 5 kilos of body weight. But the idea I have for the society will never go. I don't want to stop the service only in Madurai. I want to carry out all over parts of Tamil Nadu and do some transformation in India because I always believe a single man can make some difference. I am trying to do something for the society. And uh, we have almost rehabilitated uh, closer to 12 to 13 people who are there as a dying destitutes on the road. And now they are the pillars and active uh, volunteers and participants of Akshaya Trust. I thank you all for giving this golden opportunity. I see uh, so many elderly people in front of me. And I wanted to continue the service by the blessings of you. And then a question, uh, why do you think uh, this sort of an initiative uh, or what do you think is the impact of this initiative on the young people who see you in Madurai? How do you see the matter of the young people who see you in Madurai? When there are a lot of mentally ill people and old people on the road, uh, people who, who take up a lot of alcohol come and disturb these people, they throw stones on them and a lot of women are being uh, totally disturbed. But when the youngsters in Madurai city, when, when they see me and my team feeding all these people on the road, uh, they say, what kind of help I can do? So uh, I request them to prevent all these aspects. And there are a lot of uh, school-going uh, youngsters and college-going youngsters. On their Saturdays and Sundays, they come to Akshaya kitchen. They help us on cleaning the utensils, cutting vegetables. And they also help us on uh, transporting uh, the food. And also they help us on cooking. And there are a lot of youngsters who are involved on uh, going door to door. They collect 10 rupees, 50 rupees, and they also collect uh, newspapers for uh, using onto the feeding process. If you stay on there uh, for a minute, one more question from the audience for Naranan when we have him on stage. Oh, it's okay. Yes. I did a Maro job, Tanga was for me. He was only a mother of the family, children away from the government. I was not possible. You know, the mother of 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 Bad period. If you go away from the children, you will be able to go out there. Wife can impact, I don't know what impact my wife had because I got married only six months before. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yes, of course, there was a big impact in, in my family and my relatives. Saying that, why did you want to do that? Uh, you would have uh, hired somebody, given them a salary to do all this work. So I don't, I really do not believe uh, hiring people can uh, really have the same conscious of doing it. So I impact, I don't want to say I want to feed them, save everybody, do the haircut, cremate them, give them a better life. Whatever impact, uh, positive or negative it is going to create, uh, I want to do everything for them. Thank you so much, Naren.